Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Super Proud Ranger and welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel. Where today uh we have a important announcement regarding NASCAR. Not the channel, but NASCAR and uh while I'm doing this, uh I am hungry so I am gonna be eating some chips. So if you hear a little crunch like that. Um yeah, sorry about that if you get annoyed by that. But uh yeah. So, um, Furniture Row Racing, the reigning cup champion, championship team, announced Tuesday that it will cease operations after the season, citing a lack of necessary funding. Um, they also said, I've always felt like we could be a competitive team and run for a championship, even when it seemed like a pipe dream to many racing insiders. Car owner Barney Visser said that in a statement, but to be successful in any business, you need to assemble the right people and make a strong commitment to succeed. We achieved what we set out to do, and I feel like we climbed Mount Everest. To continue with anything less than a competitive team will not be acceptable. It's been one incredible ride. Okay. Whatever. The announcement comes less than a month after Car Vis after Car Visser issued a statement that not fielding a team in 2019 is not an option, and we have every intention of continuing to build on our success for years to come. So that makes no sense. But anyway, let's move on. The move also comes after the primary sponsor of 5-Hour Energy announced in July that it would no longer remain in NASCAR after the season. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because Monster Energy, they don't want other energy drinks and stuff. But, I mean, it's still pretty dumb. Because now, one of your reigning champions now has no ride. Because of lack of funding. Um... And this isn't good for anybody, Visser said in a statement about closing the team down after this season. The numbers just don't add up. I would have to borrow money to continue as a competitive mm -hmm. team, and I'm not going to do that. Okay. How about instead of spending your own money, or you could even spend just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. You don't have to be greedy. Just spend a little bit of money, okay? Okay, dude. And, uh, you know, you could look for sponsors. It doesn't have to be one sponsor. You could look for a whole bunch of different sponsors. You don't have to pick just one to do this. Like, it doesn't matter if you have 20, or actually, no, they're missing 15 races. So, like, you could find 15 sponsors. One sponsor per race. There you go. That's a million dollars about per race. So, yeah. The announcement comes right after he's third in points after winning his first series title last season. And, uh, yeah. He joined Furniture Row Racing in 2014 as a driver of the number 78 car, if you didn't know. And Truex says, while I'm saddened by today's announcement, I totally understand the decision. And the entire Furniture Row team took me in while my career was in a bad place, and together we reached the pinnacle of the sport. I will forever be grateful to each and every one of them, and also Furniture Row, Denver, Mattress, and the Visser family. Then it says, but make no mistake, this is not the immediate end. We still have unfinished business to attend to, and that is to give everything we have to successfully defend our Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Championship right now, and that is foremost on my mind as it is with the entire team. But, I mean, don't you win, like, a lot of money after winning the championship? So, I mean, if you can do that again this year, wouldn't you have at least somewhat enough money, you know, to kind of fund for a little bit? Because, I mean, even though they announced this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're done for good. Because if a sponsor comes to them saying, I want to sponsor 15 races for you. And if they say yes, I mean, they're back in business. And uh, there's something troubling about uh, this decision if it does immediate or not immediately inevitably happen and that is this so you might notice this from a youtuber called eric estep and it's uh well the picture at least and uh yeah so 
the most, uh, what do you call it, doable option or most likely outcome is that they'll kick Suarez out of the 19 and put Truex in there for Joe Gibbs Racing. Because I'm pretty sure Joe Gibbs doesn't want to lose Truex to Ford or Chevy. Or, wait, Truex doesn't want to lose to Ford or Chevy. Or Toyota, just in case I didn't say that. Doesn't want to lose Truex to Ford or Chevy, so they'll probably do that. And Levine Family Racing, the 95 car, is going to turn into a Toyota next year and most likely have a alliance with Furniture Row Racing. Or not Furniture Row, Joe Gibbs Racing. And, uh, yeah, Daniel Suarez could go there. Truex to Joe Gibbs just to make sure that he has a good car. In case a 95 fails or something like that. And it's not the most likable option. But if that does happen, that's the most likely. Because people are saying, oh, put him in the 41. Put him in the 41. We see the problem about that is uh, Kurt Busch is uh, going to 1 next year most likely. And people are saying, oh, put Truex in the 41 then. But there's a problem. Cole Custer, the guy in the Xfinity series who drives for Stuart Haas Racing. He is not only cheaper than Martin Truex Jr., he's also younger, so that so he'll retire at a much what do you call it? Um He won't retire as fast as Truex will. Truex has a few years left. Custer still has his whole career ahead of him. So if anything what I just said is the most likely option, but it's maybe there's a small chance that it's still not over. A small chance. Mm -hmm. And let's hope that happens. Because it would suck to see Furniture Row Racing and the 78 gone. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay super, and goodbye. See you guys later. Peace.